Hi, it's Christine Thechevinich, and this is Voices from the Stacks, the podcast of the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. Thanks for joining us. You asked, we're answering. Last episode, we shared our movies and TV picks. This week, we're all about books. Makes sense for a library podcast to talk about books, right? Let's get right into it and find out what we've been reading. My name is Ioni. I'm a tech services page here at the Mandel Public Library. What am I reading right now? I'm currently listening to an audiobook on Cloud Library called Internal Time. It's helping me to determine what chronotype I am and how to structure my day based on my internal time. My name is Amaris. I am an associate librarian. My favorite book is Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. I read it when I was in middle school, and I have really fond memories of telling stories from that to my little brother while we were camping to entertain him. He's eight years younger than me, and so when he's like six or seven, I'd tell him about how Anne accidentally dyed her hair green, and it would keep him entertained while we were out in the wilderness. I am reading a book called Such Small Hands. It's about this girl who's orphaned in a car accident. She gets sent off to an orphanage, and then some creepy stuff happens with a doll, which I haven't gotten to yet, so I can't tell you more, but it's going to be spooky, hopefully. My name is Wendy. I'm a youth services page. Right now, I'm reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm a library assistant in circulation. I'm deep into a book called We've Had 100 Years of Psychotherapy and the World's Getting Worse by James Hillman and Michael Ventura. James Hillman is a prolific psychoanalyst. This is like a back and forth conversational book between him and Michael Ventura about the inadequacies of psychotherapy and the limitations of the traditional psychotherapeutic approach of kind of myopically focusing on the individual's family history and their childhood traumas. They're kind of maybe arguing for expanding the scope a little bit to what's going on in the society. It was pretty interesting. Hi, I'm Kim Husing. I'm a library assistant in the Youth Services Department. I just finished a book called Carnegie's Maid. Meh, a little fluffy, but okay. My name is Kathy Haig, and I'm the Youth Services Supervisor. I just finished reading this morning it's a book called Palaces for the People, How Social Infrastructure Can Help Fight Inequality, Polarization, and the Decline of Civic Life by Eric Klinenberg. It's great if you're interested in how public spaces affect the health and welfare of a community and communities that have done that well and invested in that. My name is Yamara. I'm a library page. What I'm reading right now is how to be on a plant-based diet. This is Jean Taylor, a youth services librarian here at the Mandel Public Library. What am I reading is The Education of an Idealist by Samantha Powers. It's her memoir. She worked with the Obama administration. Very insightful. My name is Leah. I am a library assistant on the first floor. I really liked the Scythe series by Neil Schusterman. Right now, I am reading The Mirror and the Light by Hilary Mantel. It's the third in a series about Thomas Cromwell. It's a really interesting story, and Thomas Cromwell is a very interesting person. It's a little challenging reading. She has a kind of different style in how she writes, but I am enjoying learning a piece of history. Hi, my name is Sophie, and I'm the teen librarian here at the Mandel Public Library. It's been really tough lately. I feel like when the pandemic hit, everyone was talking about how they were going to get so much reading done, and I found myself falling into a major book slump. But recently, I've actually been reading Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. It's part of a trilogy, and the final book just came out. It's historical fiction following Thomas Cromwell as he navigates the court of King Henry VIII. I've started this book probably four times, and this time I actually think I'm going to get through it. It's weirdly funny and stressful for a book where I kind of know the ending. I just think it's great. I think she's a fantastic writer. And I'm also listening to the audiobook of the new Hunger Games novel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. There's a lot of nostalgia in the Hunger Games series for me. I remember reading those books and being obsessed with it with my friends and then going to see all the movies. I was pretty shocked when Suzanne Collins announced that she was going to be writing a prequel about President Snow, who is no one's favorite character. I was curious to see where she's going to go with it. So it's been interesting to return to that world and see what it was like before Katniss Everdeen kind of took over and saved the day. Thank you, Sophie. 
This is Tara, and I'm here in the library with our collection development librarian, Tina. Hello, Tina. Hi, Tara. I'm sitting here in her office surrounded by stacks and stacks of books. I consider myself a reading missionary. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Tina, what kind of genres do you like to read? I would say that my favorite recreational reading is a good mystery. I love literary fiction, and occasionally I go over into fantasy. Do you read one book at a time, or are you a more many books at once type of reader? Many books at once. <laughs> <laughs> I have one at work to read at lunchtime, one in the car to listen to on my way to and from work, one in the bedroom, one on the uh, kitchen table. How did you become a reader? What What's like your first reading memory? Oh, gosh. Well, it's not my first reading memory, but I do remember when I was eight years old, I got to go to Mike's Bookstore in Gainesville, Florida and pick out books for myself. I've loved bookstores ever since. I worked in bookstores for eight years before I went to library school. Do you remember a favorite book from when you were a kid? There's a book by Jenny Linsky, but it's about these cats in a neighborhood, and I can't think of the name of it. One of the cats plays a nose flute. <laughs> and you are still a cat lover. Yes. <laughs> How about a favorite book of now as an adult? Well, my book of the millennium is A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Tolls. I just think it is a brilliant novel about a character who has integrity, who appreciates beauty, who loves his friends and his country. It's a brilliant book. And Tina, you also coordinate and moderate the book club for the library. How do you pick those books? Oh gosh, I'm reading reviews all the time. When I pick books for the book club, I try to pick books that first of all have been declared notable in some way or another. Either they've been a prize winner or they've been on the New York Times or American Library Association notable list. And then I also look on Amazon to see if they've been well liked because a book can be brilliant, but not for everybody. Then I do a little ballot with my book club folks to see if those books are of interest to them. Do you have any advice for parents encouraging their kids to be readers? Setting the example, reading aloud to your children, letting them read what they want. There you go. Thank you. Because reading should be fun. I agree, yes. <laughs> You can find Tina's blog posts, The One Book You Need to Read Right Now, and Reading in the Time of the Coronavirus on the library's blog, Notes from the Stacks at mycitylibrary.org. As for me, I'm reading Pandemic, Tracking Contagions from Cholera to Ebola and Beyond by Sonia Shaw. Shaw explains how viruses spread and contagions are contained, or not contained. It's fascinating and unfortunately timely. And honestly, it's taking me forever to get through since I can only handle a few pages at a time before I escape into How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. That's two. I cheated. So far, my favorite book of 2020 is Interior Chinatown by Charles Yu. It's a hilarious and fast-paced exploration on being Asian in the U.S. today, sprinkled throughout with fun pop culture references. Looking for your own literary love affair? Use the Ask a Librarian hashtag and our librarians will recommend a book just for you. Thursdays at noon on Twitter. Or reach out anytime on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and tell us what you've been reading, watching, or listening to. Music tracks are Awakenings and Special Place by Ketza and Ferris Cut by Blue Dot Sessions, available on freemusicarchive.org. Happy Memorial Day! We'll see you next time.